<gasps> You're back. I, I thought you'd be stuck in the game forever. <laughs> like there's no place like home. Everyone okay? I think so. Well done. You've saved the world from a terrible menace. But did you find out who created the virus? We've got a pretty good idea. Good, because whoever created the virus must be punished. Glad you agree, Professor, because you're as much a suspect as anyone here. What? Me? But I'm a scientist. I've dedicated my life to my students and this university. But you also stood to make a quarter million dollars at the science fair. If you stole the invention. Oh, preposterous! And let's not forget Officer Wembley. What? I'm an officer of the law. Sort of. Anyway, I've never committed a crime in my life. But you were the only person that was with us in the lab when we got sent into the game. But once inside the game, we found some important clues. Our first clue came when we were on the moon level. The phantom virus shouted, play ball. And on the Colosseum level, we found some chalk lines like a large diamond. But our biggest clue was on the final level. When the phantom virus appeared in a batting cage. All I'm getting is that the virus had a thing for... Baseball! Bill! Not so fast, kid. Okay, son, it's all over. Bill, you were my best friend. And my best student. But you didn't pick my project. What's that supposed to mean? Professor Kaufman chose your video design over mine, even though I've been here two years longer. Students are all equal, Bill. So, you invented the phantom virus, hoping it would scare away. That's right, and it worked. Till you guys showed up. You were afraid that we would find out who created the virus. So you beamed us into cyberspace. The prize would have been all mine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank you for getting rid of that phantom virus. Lunch is on me, guys. In that case, I'll have another cheeseburger. Two cheeseburgers. No problem. I'm sorry you guys got trapped in cyberspace. Well, it really wasn't all that bad. Really? Going back in time was really fun. You did a great job designing all the game levels. Well, thanks, but next time, go easier on the monsters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sh I just pulled up the Scooby-Doo video game on my laptop. Wanna play? What do you say, Scoob? <laughs> now that there's no creepy virus in the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Haven't you had enough for one day? Zoinks! Look! What are you doing, Scoob? <laughs> now that's what I call hacking. Hacking and Scooby snacking. Scooby Dooby Doo! <laughs> <laughs> a bit of a bookworm, but I've got a wild side, too. That's why my favorite part of Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase was shooting in the prehistoric jungle. It really brought out the animal in me. This one likes me. Look how calm he is. Ah! Ah! Thanks, Scooby. one likes you too trying to tame those woolly mammoths was like a prehistoric rodeo he found out what it was like to be a real cowpoke and after a little practice Scooby and I started the first cattle drive my dream of playing professional baseball ended pretty early but another dream of mine came true when we made the movie gladiator Cute in that outfit. Cute? That's not what I was going for. You can beat it! All that frisbee play really paid off. I was amazed at how much acting like sh** me during battle. I lured my opponents into traps, 
jumped high when I was scared, and most importantly, ran really fast. Just because I wear nice clothes and like to shop doesn't mean I don't have a sense of adventure. That's why I enjoyed shooting at the North Pole. Besides, when it's 40 below, no one cares what you're wearing. The air is so cold. <sighs> you gotta keep moving around. Scooby had the right idea. They're doing Arctic aerobics. Like help! <laughs> nice work! Now you know why I accessorize. If you're exploring the Arctic, you need to make sacrifices. Your shelter must be practical. You need to travel light. And most importantly, enjoy the 24 hours of sunlight. The part I enjoyed most about this movie was all the time Scooby and I got to spend at the arcade. Like there's only one thing I love more than playing games, and that's winning at them. One more point, and I win. <laughs> Scoob, like I'm the air hockey champion of the world! Huh. <laughs> yeah! Yes! Two out of three? I could have been a better sport. Or at least not gotten so excited. But when I rubbed it in after beating him at free throws, Scooby made a winning shot of his own. Your turn, Scoob. What was your favorite part of Scooby Doo in the cyber chase? Racer, which I found out was spelled with two S's. <laughs> and best of all, we got to see an old friend. Right, Scoob? Scooby-Dooby-Doo! <laughs>